This video is presented by Rashid Bashu team. The Dr. Rashid Bashu is the first scientist and gemologist in Africa. During Neolithic times, the key known sources of nephrite jade in China for utilitarian and ceremonial jade items were the now depleted deposits in the Ningxiao area in the Yangtze River Delta, Liangzhou culture 3400 to 2250 BC, and in an area of Liaoning province and Inner Mongolia, Hongshan culture 4700 to 2200 BC. 3. Dushan jade was being mined as early as 6000 BC. In the Yin ruins of the Shang dynasty, 1600 to 1050 BC, in Anyang, Dushan jade ornaments were unearthed in the tomb of the Shang kings. Jade was used to create many utilitarian and ceremonial objects, from indoor decorative items to jade burial suits. Jade was considered the imperial gem. From the earliest Chinese dynasties to the present, the jade deposits most in use were not only those of Khotan in the western Chinese province of Xinjiang but other parts of China as well, such as Alanshan, Shanxi. There, white and greenish nephrite jade is found in small quarries and as pebbles and boulders in the rivers flowing from the Quendlun mountain range eastward into the Taklamakan desert area. The river jade collection is concentrated in the Yarkand, the white jade, Yurungkash, and black jade, Karakash, rivers. From the kingdom of Khotan, on the southern leg of the Silk Road, yearly tribute payments consisting of the most precious white jade were made to the Chinese imperial court and there worked into object star by skilled artisans as jade had a status value exceeding that of gold or silver. Jade became a favorite material for the crafting of Chinese scholars' objects, such as rests for calligraphy brushes, as well as the mouthpieces of some opium pipes, due to the belief that breathing through jade would bestow longevity upon smokers who used such a pipe. 4. Jadeite, with its bright emerald green, pink, lavender, Orange and brown colors was imported from Burma to China only after about 1800. The vivid green variety became known as Fia Qi, comma or Kingfisher, feathers, jade. It quickly became almost as popular as nephrite and a favorite of Qing Dynasty's Nouveau Riche, while scholars still had strong attachment to nephrite, white jade, or cotton which they deemed to be the symbol of a nobleman. In the history of the art of the Chinese Empire, jade has had a special significance, comparable with that of gold and diamonds in the West. 5. Jade was used for the finest objects and cult figures, and for grave furnishings for high-ranking members of the imperial family. 5. Due to that significance and the rising middle class in China, in 2010 the finest jade when found in nuggets of mutton fat jade, so named for its marbled white consistency, could sell for $3,000 an ounce, a tenfold increase from a decade previously. 6. The Chinese character 7, U, is used to denote the several types of stone known in English as jade, for example comma jade wares, such as jadeite, comma hard jade another name for comma and nephrite, comma soft jade. But because of the value added culturally to jades throughout Chinese history, the word has also come to refer more generally to precious or ornamental stones, eight, and is very common in more symbolic usage as in phrases like comma, lit, casting a brick, that is the speaker's own words, to draw a jade that is pearls of wisdom from the other party, a beautiful face, jade countenance, and, slim and graceful, jade standing upright. The character has a similar range of meanings when appearing as a radical as parts of other characters, 